Our last story today is about America's truest forever war, their constant battle with culture. And their old foe is back in the picture. We're talking about the Renaissance. It is a period in European history. It began during the 14th century, marking the transition from Middle Ages to modernity. And what an era it was. It saw the growth of intellectual reason. Art and culture flourished during the time, but apparently so did a lot of pornography. At least that's what some aggrieved parents in Florida believe. A classical school in Florida has been making headlines. The sixth graders attend a Renaissance art class. These are children aged around 12, and they were shown a picture of Michelangelo's iconic sculpture, David. Sounds pretty normal. After all, the statue has inspired generations. It is hailed as a masterpiece, a symbol of the Renaissance and even strength and independence. It is on display in a museum in Florence in Italy. It helps draw 1.7 million visitors every year, but Michelangelo is apparently too woke for Florida. We know that the purpose of art is to inspire reaction, but in this case, it was exacerbating. The art world has a word for this, drama. One parent called the statue pornographic. Outrage ensued. The school principal was forced out. This may seem completely bonkers, to many of you, but this is not new to the charter school. Such reaction is expected, so every year it sends a letter to parents, warning them that their children will see a picture of the naked sculpture. The politically correct word for this is trigger warning. Ironic, because this is a controversial term among the right. But this year the school did not send it. The parents were angry, especially three of them. The school board decided to sack the principal. It said parental rights are supreme. And this drama is mildly amusing, but only if we don't look at the bigger picture, because this behavior is not restricted to one dysfunctional school. Florida has been seeing a shift, all thanks to its governor, some say, Ron DeSantis. He is on a censorship crusade, and schooling reform is part of his modus operandi. Florida has passed a number of laws. They limit how sexuality, gender, and race are taught in schools. Now a new draft law is underway. It will ban schools from teaching about menstruation before the sixth grade. So you can guess why such action has been amped up. The 2024 election is looming, and it is the battleground of culture wars, especially those in education. Europe is watching in horror and mocking the US. Italian daily publications are featuring satirical cartoons about David. The Florence Museum has invited parents and pupils from the Florida school. This is to help them learn what the statue really stands for. The mayor of Florence has tweeted about it, saying that confusing art with pornography is ridiculous. Well, it is. But we can't help but notice a similarity, too, between the ruling Americans and a former British queen. Queen Victoria was so shocked by David's nudity that she commissioned a fig leaf to cover him. And that's the thing about art. It binds us in mysterious ways, across time. And if Michelangelo were here, we know what he would have said. I'll wrap with a quote of his. Why do you send fools to judge my work?